What a throwback. Look who I'm with. Oh, yeah, no, I saw you. <laughs> this is not okay. Gus has got a boyfriend. Morning. Look who's here. My face is good. My yeah. face is very good. Hello. Good morning. I've just found a new vlogging. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I was just going to say I've just found a new vlogging angle, but maybe it's not the most practical. So, my bra strap's falling down. How do I get to this? Today is Monday the 13th of March and you'll probably tell from the title of the vlog I am going back to Lincoln to see my old uni friend Jade. Now if you've watched my vlog since uni you'll know Jade, no introduction needed. If you don't I lived with Jade in third year but we were like best friends straight away from like first year so I'm very excited to see Jade. I think I worked out it's been four years we're gonna blame the pandemic um, and just life, you know, we've both got like full-time jobs now, but we are gonna go and have an old school Alice and Jade day. I actually have <laughs> my roller skates. I have never vlogged about having roller skates. I bought these last year um, and got into like a little bit of a hobby of doing it and I've not done it for a while, but Jade saw that I was doing it. She bought her own skates. No doubt she's a lot better than me now. <laughs> So we're gonna go, we're gonna have McDonald's. I'm gonna try and not break my neck on these. I've even got a helmet, I've got the full gear. <laughs> we're gonna go full embarrassing myself mode. And I'm just very excited to see her. So it is 11 o'clock now, it'll take me about an hour to get there. I'm gonna listen to a podcast and get going. Oh, and also on my way, I'm gonna go, this is really boring adulting compared to what I'm about to go and do. We had our kitchen tiled yesterday and I'm so happy with it. I'll see if I can find a clip of it before but the Tyler couldn't get the plug sockets back on because the screws weren't long enough. So on my way out, I'm going to go to, I don't know, screw fix and just show them the, the nails and be like, please help. Because obviously right now we can't use the plug sockets safely. But yes, that is my day. Very excited to see my jaddles. Let me know if you remember watching Jade in the vlogs before. But yeah, I've got very muddy shoes, but she also, I'm going to her mum's house who has like a big field behind the house and I know it'll be muddy so I'm just gonna accept the muddy shoe life because these are the shoes I wore to walk Gus the other day anyway so they were pretty destroyed. Have I got everything? Camera, phone, there's a phone charger in my car, medicine, purse, roller skates. I think that's everything. Let's go. Let's quickly rewind as I have something exciting to share with you. I am here to talk to you about this week's vlog sponsor, which I'm very excited about. It is Y Stamp. Now, if you've watched me for a while, you will maybe remember when I last mentioned Y Stamp, and I have used and loved them ever since. Y Stamp is a website that allows you to create beautiful email signature templates. They're professional looking, easy to use, and so quick and simple to install. Now, as you can see, I have the Y stamp signature on the bottom of my emails, and I feel like it just gives that professional, personal touch, you know? And I'm all about creating that great, like, customer client experience. Now, the main thing I love about Y stamp is just how simple it is. You don't need any coding skills at all, which I'm a big fan of because I am not very good at coding and I do not like it. Hats off to anyone who does. You also don't need design skills. As you can see, there are so many different options and ways that you can tweak your email signature and you can even add dynamic apps into the mix. So I have the little Alice Thorpe signature style handwritten thing, but you can also add YouTube videos, you can add me buttons, you can add social buttons, banners, custom HTML, whatever you want you can add it. If you are in the market for a beautiful email signature and want to create that professional experience I have a link for Y stamp in the description for you to check out. I love it and it is so easy to set up. You can literally make those changes, hit publish, assign it to the email account and you're good to go. Thank you very much to Y stamp for sponsoring this video and let's get on with some work. We cannot possibly put it off for any longer. Or maybe we can put it off. Let's go to Lincoln instead. We are en route and I have the screws. I need a 12. They only came in boxes of 50. What am I going to do with the rest? Who knows? I'm just going to give them to my dad. I've also just discovered that my phone holder holds my camera as well. So that's helpful. <laughs> 
driving to Lincoln from a different house. When I went to uni, obviously I lived with my parents, so the route here is different, and I didn't really know how different it was. And I have the worst sense of direction, like the worst. Um, but it turns out I'm just like I was like 10 minutes further away, and I can actually remember the route, which I'm very impressed with. Muscle memory must be. I never drive anywhere without my sat nav on because I don't trust myself. Not because, like I know the route, I definitely know the route. Maybe not to Jade's house, but I know the route to Central Lincoln. I'm just reminiscing. I've put like an old school playlist on. So I'm singing and I'm just reminiscing and driving this route is giving me all the feels because back in 2015 to 2018, I drove to and from Lincoln pretty much every weekend. Uh, less so in third year, I came home like every three weekends maybe, but I've driven this route a lot and it's given me all the feels. I'm just kind of sad it's raining. I hope it's not too grim in actual Lincoln so we can roller skate. Although, I know it won't bother Jade, so <laughs> yeah. The only difference is with this vlog is that I used to do karaoke on the way to Lincoln but we cannot do that anymore because of copyright so R.I.P. karaoke. We've made it. Now I need to go and find the wild jaddles. What a throwback. I'm so excited. Hi. Hi Zippy. You're beautiful. Finding my cat. I know. My numerous cats. Are you proud that I'm a crazy cat lady now too? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I've actually been waiting for this conversion for a long <laughs> time. I also haven't put the fluff on top of my camera, so it's sorry about windy. it. It's like gale force wind. It is very windy in Lincoln. We've had very much a long life catch up, haven't we? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you haven't seen each other in four years. Four years. I'm trying to shave. COVID, I know. And the fact that we're both. Boss ladies. I know. I Jade works for herself now. <laughs> Woo. I'm so proud. But yeah, we're coming down to see the farm. Mackie's later. <gasps> oh my goodness. They've got cold. roosters. He's very nasty. Hi. He's very mean. He hits you if you don't feed him fast enough. <laughs> and there's the good boy at the back. Sleepy oh, boy. sleepy boy. Yeah. yeah, he's a very fair one. <laughs> Hey! This is Hoggle. You're beautiful. I'm always the best boy. Aren't you, sweeps? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, a handsome boy. He's oh, you're so soft. He is soft. He says, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me the, give me the pets. <laughs> you're so funny, sweetie. Is that nice? Mm. My kitten's going to be wondering who I've been stroking. Yeah, she definitely, definitely will after Dottie. Get dotty hair all over you. Oh dear. Oh, sweepsy. <laughs> Rodney, Rodney is a great name. Rodney the rooster. He's actually very mean. Oh. You like open the door and he'll like attack you. He's like, Argh! he runs after you. <laughs> He's really mean. Don't mess with Rodney. Don't mess with Rodney. He's bloody awful. Look at the little paw. <laughs> Hi, Ziggy. You're going to jump up. I am in animal heaven. It's been far too long. It's a trip to the farm. It is a trip it's to the farm. Hi, Maisie. Farm. Hi. Hi Maisie. Hi. She's very Look cool. at your eyelashes. Oh, yes. She's got eyelashes for days. <laughs> That's really I'm in your car. We never used to do it. I used to drive all the time. Don't judge my car. You can't really see. You can see all my mess. We've gone for the classic Mackies. Those of you... <laughs> what was that noise? Those of you who watched for a while will know this is the go to, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm like really lost. I was, well I was genuinely like just saying about how I was like, Do you remember the chicken nugget song? She was like, What? And I was like, The chicken nugget song. We liked them so much we made a bloody song about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. It was very good. This is the best time of my life. The muck best time, is that what you said? <laughs> no, but I wish I did. The muck best time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Mm. We're having, we've had, we've had a hangout, mm. we've had some 
chat. I've, I've bought Gus a toy. You have, yeah. You have the little pirate boy. Yeah. He's so cute. I still haven't met him yet. I need to I know, come and meet him. I know, you need to him. come and meet the cat. It's because we're busy. I think we're adulting, what I is know, this? I know, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's blood. Oh, I like snorted. <laughs> this is why we buy Mackies. Mm. Alright, we're what? gonna go and eat. We are. Bye. I don't care, I'm eating already. <laughs> Hello, good morning. It is... Wednesday? Yes, it's Wednesday the 15th of March and I didn't vlog really anything yesterday. Or did I vlog at all? I don't think I did. I was having like a no makeup admin day, so I just figured... Let's get your head down, get it done. I managed to put together, or put back together the kitchen because we had tiles fitted and I'm obsessed with how it looks. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have probably already seen because I was on about it on my stories. But yeah, the tiles look so nice and I had a full on fight with the plug socket because one of them would not go back on. <laughs> but then I felt very accomplished. I had to go and take like a time out. I walked Gus, I know, weird. Um, went to Pets at Home, got him some food came back and we did it so <laughs> I almost gave in and I was gonna ring my dad or my neighbor who's an electrician but I managed to do it all by myself so I was very proud of myself um but yeah I did loads of admin work Gus is actually really enjoying the walks obviously it's not ideal and it's we're not sure if it's a long-term solution but it's just nice for him to get out you know whilst he's sort of healing and getting used to his eyeball situation um monday with jade was so fun it was like no time had passed at all just like old times we had like full four four years of catching up to do does not feel that long i think covid's done that to everyone like i feel like two and a half years just don't exist in my brain because of covid so it was so nice to see her and all the animals and the family um so it's really wholesome but today as you can tell, I am in complete chaos. I am listing a few techie bits like uh, that I don't use on Facebook Marketplace. And then I've also just taken a bunch of photos of cloves that I'm gonna put on Vinted. I've created a pile that I'm just gonna send to donations because they're like not, they're good, but they're not good enough to sell. Um, so I'm gonna find a bin bag and bag these ones up. And then there's a pile around the corner that are good enough to sell. I've just taken photos of them. I'm gonna list them now. I have been avoiding doing this job for a long time, so hopefully it means the pile that's been behind me for months <laughs> is gonna go. And then this pile is photo shoot stuff that I need to try on and sort out. So I'm gonna do that later today as well and show you. The photo shoot is tomorrow. I am, I'm looking forward to it, I guess. I just wanna get all the outfits sort of laid out ready. So we've got minimal thinking to do tomorrow. We can just get it done. I hope you're having a good day so far. And I'm going to go hope that we've got some giant bin bags. Because this is a big pile that I need to go and take to like a clove drop off thing. Do they still have those at supermarkets? I hope they do. Let me just show you the situation. This is not okay. <laughs> oh, so this is like the donation pile. And then there's the sale pile here. So if you want to check out my vintage, go for it. I think I'm going to give it like a time limit and if things don't sell I'm just going to donate everything because at this point I'm just collecting mounds of stuff for no reason. I have a hunch there's a Gustafsson behind this door. <gasps> no. Gus? <gasps> there he is. I can hear you. Hi. Hiya. You okay? No? What are you showing me? Did I vlog the tiles complete? I'm not sure, but this is the kitchen now and I am obsessed with it. Do you like it too, Gus? <laughs> All we need to do is put up some shelves here because my boyfriend's really into coffee, so he's got like a machine and some shelves, but obviously we've covered the holes up, so I need to get my dad to drill in the tiles. Um, and I'm not envious of him doing that task because that sounds quite scary. But yeah, I feel like this looks really cute. The other day, my boyfriend was going in the shed and we closed this kitchen door here into the hallway when we're going out, obviously, so Gus can't get out. And we think Gus jumped on the door handle to open the door because he... <sighs> he did a great escape. But we got him back, actually. It was quite... I think when he realised 
he escaped he was actually quite scared so i bribed him back with chicken whereas like a few months ago there would have been zero chances of me getting him back he would have just ran and been in his element but i think since his accident he's actually quite nervous oh my god on that walk gus has got a boyfriend i was totally third wheeling like this cat we went on a walk together <laughs> it was so cute very surreal definitely a crazy cat lady i cannot deny it anymore but yeah so Gus got to see his boyfriend and it was very cute. I don't know why I've only just thought of doing this. So this box used to have packaging in it you see like noodles I used to call them noodles from my old online shop and then I didn't really know what to do with it I don't know I just sort of left it here because it wasn't in the way and now I've just managed to fit all the clothes I'm selling in there all folded up nice and neat and then if and when one sells I can just rummage and get it and it's not the giant pile that it was before why have I never thought of this <laughs> oh, that's made me very happy and actually I am gonna go to the supermarket right now and take that bag because if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do it. Is anyone else like this? <laughs> Tasks that in my head seem to take forever and I put off actually aren't that bad. Now I've done it. I'm actually really pleased with this. I feel like I'm backstage at my old dance shows with all the costumes laid out, but I feel like all these pairings are great and I'm so glad I sat and thought about them. I've got the shoes ready, put the accessories on the window. I'm gonna get some like clips for my hair as well from my drawer, but I think these outfits are very me vibes. Proud of that. Morning, look who's here. Okay. Photographer mummy is here. We've brought basically an entire photography setup downstairs and we've got a little setup going on on the table. So I'm going to put you on a time lapse. This is outfit number one. Do I just put this in? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I can't see me sat down. See how long it takes us to fall out. <laughs> yeah, five minutes. We've not taken any photos yet, so yeah. Let's see. This is going just about as well as we expected so far. What time is it? It's about 20 past 11. An hour and 20 minutes and we've got two good photos. That's average. Mm -hmm. So I have changed outfits once, twice. Um, and now I'm back in this one and we're going to take some in the living room. Mum's just fluffing. But as you can tell, it's very dark in here today, which is not ideal because usually the light's really nice at the front of the house. But it's a very overcast day today. So I'm having to use my light, which is just another thing to think about. I think we've got a couple of good ones. I'm just not looking forward to, sorry for this angle, not looking forward to when I need to do the like, headshot photos because... We all know I put too much pressure on taking them. But I'm literally, sorry for blinding you. I'm literally having to light my room up with false lights. And it's kind of tricky. Yeah, I'm taller than you. I know. <laughs> Why do you want my laptop? Do 
I need to clip my hair up at any point. I'm doing it for light, not for any specific. That light is good. That's what I should quite like that though. I do actually. It's good when I'm not paying attention. I think we need to clip my hair up though because I don't yeah. have it down in the be right back. Again. May I put some earrings in? starred in some photos do you think he doesn't want any more <laughs> yeah he did <laughs> oh you're so cute <laughs> this is the setup we've got for this one and <laughs> mum is ready she's waiting for me <laughs> a whole clip to you did you get a shot i've just done a whole clip uh vlogging to you and my mum's taking photos of me whilst i'm vlogging so it's a bit awkward <laughs> so i know she's waiting for every time i stop talking to smile um but we are now i'm now on a stool my office is in chaos isn't it mummy yes my chair's there <laughs> behind mum the wardrobe department lighting Mum's been on the floor, she's been on the chair. Mum's fell over. I'm so sad we didn't get that on camera, it was hilarious. <laughs> so I will time lapse again and we're getting like more businessy looking ones sat on the chair. Well, sat on the stool. So yes, I will pose. Do another time. Pose. <laughs> As if you vlog like that. <laughs> so I'm vlogging. Ha 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 ha. I hate taking photos. <laughs> there's some bloody stupid ones, but there's <laughs> plenty should use that. Beautiful. Right, are we just getting upper body ones? In fact. I don't like this stool. You keep saying that. Oh, I'm gonna fall off. See, Mum's good at this because she knows which ones I like, so she takes like four, and then if we like it, the only thing is the lights. My face is good. Your yeah. face is very good. For once. It's quite interesting being model and lighting director. Now you need to do your like this chair. You need to do your face like you did before, please. Hello, good morning. It is Friday and I am very tired after a long day yesterday shooting those photos with my mum. I didn't realise how much energy it used, like being switched on and I know I'm effectively just standing there smiling at a camera but it's exhausting. <laughs> I am now surrounded by chaos once again. I feel like at the beginning of this vlog I worked really hard to clear all the clothes out of here and now obviously this is where all the clothes ended up from yesterday so see us. So yeah there's a lot of chaos behind me but I am gonna yeah chaos. I'm gonna have another look through the photos. I did have a look yesterday. We took like 1800 photos I think. There was a lot. Um, we did a lot of different setups and we're both very fussy, mainly me. So we take a loads until we get the one we want which means I've got a lot to look through. Most of them are going to go. I reckon I'm going to end up with like, at the minute I've narrowed it down to like 98 I think I'm up to. I'm going to get it down to about 50 and then I'll do some like further narrowing down. My bad, my um, battery died obviously, we were using this camera yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm going to narrow it down to about 50 and then narrow it again to about 30. But I think like 1800 to 98 is pretty good and I was doing it at like half seven last night so... It was a long day yesterday, it is now, I think it's about quarter to 11, I've had a very slow start this morning, I will not lie, 
Um, and I also realised I didn't do Water Wednesday this week, even though I was at home and available to do it. So I'm a bit annoyed at myself about that. I will do it later today. And then obviously at some point I need to tidy my office. Look at this. There's just stuff <laughs> everywhere. In fact, I guess it's not as bad as it was the other day. There's stuff around here, on there. There's lights up. For now, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to sit here. I've also not been able to find the tripod for this camera. I'm going to sit on my desk and just not look at it. <laughs> that is the, that's the method I'm going for right now. I've got loads of props on my desk from like posing at the desk. Whew, it was just a bit long, wasn't it? But hopefully we got it done. Hopefully there is some photos in there that I like. And hopefully I've found a new profile photo because we know how I feel about those. Right. And I will find my tripod so you can actually see me. That would also be very beneficial. my own face for far too long now so i've come downstairs change of scenery what time is it 10 to, four. 10 to 4 that's not that bad um and i've decided it's time to put the easter decorations up so i was sort of waiting until we'd done the shoot so i didn't have any easter related things in the background but we have a big box and i'm gonna start putting them up don't you fight this string it's not gustafson's I saw you thinking about it. Easter time, Easter time. Where's my hook gone? Oh. You what? The hook for the meat, it must have fallen off. And I basically spent my entire weekend with family, relaxing. It was Mother's Day, we had some lovely lunches and it's been a really wholesome week i can't lie i am exhausted let me know if you got to the end of this video what you've been up to this week let me know something you're proud of for doing this week i'm really proud of actually doing that photo shoot because i hate <laughs> taking photos of myself so yes i'm very proud of myself for getting that done and being so organized about it and we're almost done with the photos i've looked at my own face for far too long now but we're almost done. I've sold some clothes on Vinted. I've got 1,800 photos down to like 30. I'm very proud of myself. So what are you proud of for doing this week? Or well, last week, I guess, now you're watching this. But yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time for another one. Bye.